Welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Cain Defiance. We have just gotten ourselves the last section of the uh, symbol of balance that Cain is going to need in order to access the chamber and the vampire citadel. What he's expecting to find in there, well, he doesn't really have any idea what he's going to find in there. Only that Mobius has essentially just been leading him in this direction. Now, he doesn't really trust Mobius, but he understands that, well, what he, Mobius is telling him to do is important, so he's here to find out on his own. I am wandering in circles like an idiot. Uh, it's not where I wanted to go, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think I'm heading in the wrong direction, but whatever. Just keep going. It'll be okay. Stairs. So many stairs. I don't even remember this. Where the hell is this? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This is where we first entered the Vampire Citadel. Not, uh... Not where I'm supposed to be going, it's where I started. awkward camera. Get down there. <laughs> Already done that. <laughs> For my ancient ancestors, the dark gift was clearly a curse, damning them to a kind of spiritual purgatory. But why were they compelled to seal this chamber so securely? Perhaps the lock was not meant to keep intruders out, but to imprison something within. Cain, scion of balance, savior of Nosgoth. What is this? Your arrival is foretold. The fates have willed it. Is that so? I am the oracle of your ancestors. I can provide the answers you require. You needn't speak. I know your mind. You seek knowledge of your creature, Raziel. This I can offer, if you will look. He has found the body of Janus Audra. He journeys now to Avernus Cathedral to seek the Heart of Darkness. You know what this means. And why would I trust your prophecies? These events are already written just as you feared. But there is still time. He can be stopped. If Avernus is in flames, Raziel is five centuries beyond my reach. I may aid you in this regard as well. This portal will transport you in time to the very hour that Raziel arrives in Avernus. 
this task is yours to carry out, since it was you who made him what he is. When you are ready, you may pass through. I knew, of course, that this oracle was not to be trusted. But in the end, what choice did I have? Now, as far as I can tell, this is the first encounter Cain is having with the Elder God. Can't get through there. All the time that Cain has spent doing his own sort of uh, conspiracy planning and all that kind of stuff, he has never encountered the Elder God through the centuries of existence, but has been manipulated by it. This peculiar sensation was familiar to me, and the chamber did indeed appear altered by time. In this regard, at least, the Oracle seemed to have been truthful. I have delivered you faithfully to the very hour you desire. You know what must be done, Cain. There is only one way to prevent Raziel from doing great harm. He is not my enemy. But you are his. What? Okay, I did not do that. I just wanted to let you know that something must be along with the dead zone of my controller. It instantly just threw Kane into there without me touching it. See, it, it did it again. <laughs> oh, what the fuck. <laughs> do I have to jump through this thing again? No, I don't. This thing's a little tougher than the most of them. These things are tough in the future. Wow. Takes a lot more hits than usual. Gotcha. Still can't get through that door. From this vantage point, I could see the city of Avernus in flames. The Oracle had indeed brought me to the time it promised. It might also be true then, that Raziel was already there, seeking the Heart of Darkness. If so, he had to be stopped. I could not allow Janos to be raised. Why Janos cannot be raised, I don't know. We don't know that yet. But Kane seems to be pretty intent on preventing that from happening. Also, um... The Elder God since the time of Raziel's resurrection, has been kind of manipulating him to perform certain tasks. Mobius has been doing the same thing under the same name and same goal. But now things seem to have changed. Raziel, being the only one seemingly capable of actual free will, has broken away from the Elder God's control, and now it wants to have him taken care of, to have him taken out. So... It's tempting to pit Cain against Raziel, trying to change history again. Well, anyway, Avernus Burning is an event that occurred in the first Blood Omen, and not only will Cain and Raziel be there, but the younger Cain in the first game will be there. Whether we're going to see him or not is a different story, but storyline-wise, Cain, the younger Cain, will be there. <laughs> 